Hi, this is just a short video about my Humber, 1953 Humber police bike. Um, it's an Elizabethan model, uh, bought out in 1953, uh, which I've converted to electric use. Um, it's a very simple bike, but very effective. The only thing that's slightly uh, scary about it at the moment are the brakes, because I'm still currently running it on the original rod brakes. Now, it's not something I bought as a kit, it's something that I've made from bits and pieces. Uh, here we have uh, the documents box which houses uh, at the moment a 48 volt lithium powered battery and that's coupled to a uh, graphic equalizer slide which turns the uh, circular motion of the speed controller into a linear motion which then turns this 750 watt 36 volt motor um, originally I ran it on a 36 volt lithium but I've overvolted it and uh, currently um, I'm getting with, a with, with pedal assist about 30 miles an hour which is more than enough obviously on private land because that would be illegal if it was on the road uh, 15 being the legal limit in the UK over here we have the handle here which is quite quite crude at the moment but this is the engage and disengage if you look closely it engages and disengages the motor on the back wheel very crude but very effective and it means that when I'm pedaling there's no kind of friction on the wheel now I just wanted to talk about the process of this bike um, originally I used uh, the Sinclair Zeta just as an experiment which was a uh, I think it's 187 watts that's run off a pulley uh, which goes uh, directly onto the wheel. Now that proved to be very inefficient very quickly being that I'm 15 stone and the bike weighs a ton so uh, I then went over to, to uh, modifying this what was an old hospital motor from a from a bed um, which worked uh, to a degree it managed to, from doing only about 10 miles per hour on this I managed to reach um, about 18 on this so um, it was far more effective um, this was one of the um, gear reduction motors from the hospital bed which I used uh, which I then changed to this here now there's a third uh, possibility that I'm playing with at the moment um, and that is a uh, an aluminium billet which I'm going to have um, machined to the right size. Notice the height difference, this was obviously great at lower speeds but what I was after is sort of more smoother top end speeds. I tend to use pedal assist when I pull off and then this takes over but um, this was far better when the, when the weather was damp. This I found out today, it's a damp November day, it was really rather in inefficient um, and I won't go into this in any kind of detail but um, before I even decided what I was uh, planning to do I worked out the, um, the the miles per hour what I would get in terms of playing around with batteries and um, motor sizes so uh, I worked out essentially the rest per minute which I actually did very simply rather than looking at the motor because it wasn't obvious um, by um, putting a white piece bit of paint on there and counting with the click counter how many revolutions it would do in a minute which is obviously a very crude way of doing it. If you multiply that by the diameter of the wheel and then by 0.003 you get its miles per hour and that's obviously uh, without any weight on it etc so it just gave me a good indication um, of how fast I would go. I did this in my shed so um, uh, without any uh, without me being on it so in reality it uh, with the original Sinclair motor, the 187 watt one, I would have done a, a 10.5 miles an hour. But the reality of it was, is it did between eight and nine, sometimes even less, um, and it caused more drag than anything else. It was absolutely hopeless. Um, which is when I started playing around with uh, the 300 watt, 36 volts. Managed to get 21 on that, but that was the reality was 18. And then as you know, after you've done that, the, you, you want more, you don't, you're not, never satisfied with just that. So I then messed around with a uh, 48 volt uh, battery, which is what we've got now. So um, yeah, so this is the bike. Um, very interesting. 
Um, I would say without pedal assist it probably does about 18, 20, well, as you know, I think yesterday I did about 22 miles an hour, that's about fair. Um, pedal assist you need to get to get going, obviously, being that it's friction drive and they're not, they're not the most efficient of, uh, of motors. Um, and uh, with a fair bit of assist I can get uh, about 31. This 25 is just a bit of a just a bit of fun playing uh, with this box here, which incidentally was an old documents box uh, that I've mounted on uh, between the um, between the handlebars. So, uh, so there you go. Um, plenty of fun can be had. I am toying with the idea of uh, uh, putting in a thousand watt motor, possibly, but with friction drive and with rod brakes, it's um, not going to happen until I can sort out the braking system uh, because you need a good half a mile to. Uh, to, to stop basically as it stands um, and um, that's a little bit scary to say the least but uh, anyway there you go Hope Absolutely bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. That's bloody dangerous, mate, I tell you. Oh, God. 